Generative AI is sparking a revolution across industries by giving organizations the option to automate some tasks that are especially complex, time-consuming, or labor-intensive to help the workforce be more efficient. Using advanced AI methods to innovate, recognize trends, and uncover valuable insights at scale, Generative AI has the capacity to transform nearly every industry in a way that mundane tasks are performed, the speed at which data is analyzed, and more. And while it is important to invest and experiment to capitalize on these benefits, it's equally important to understand and manage the associated risks. In this course, you'll learn about the incredible potential of generative AI to revolutionize decision-making in various industries, from HR to finance, agriculture, and beyond, leading to improved outcomes and enhanced efficiency. If you are new to this channel, do like, support, and subscribe so that you are updated and notified of new videos on my channel. So, let's get started. What exactly is generative AI? Let me try to explain you in simple words and briefly. When new content is created by artificial intelligence, it's called generative AI. This could involve generating texts and images, as well as videos, music, or voices. To do this, you describe in a chat dialog box what you want the AI to create. This description is called a prompt. The generative AI tools provide answers to all sorts of questions, summarize complex information, and generate diverse ideas quickly. Depending on how they're used, they can create short stories, paintings, pieces of code, or even musical compositions. The foundation for this creation lies in large amounts of data that the AI system accesses to identify patterns and similarities. The content produced by the AI is new. It's often impressive and challenging to distinguish from things humans have made. Generative AI can also be misused in so-called deep fakes. AI is utilized to produce images or videos that seem real. AI-generated texts are also tough to recognize as machine-made. Moreover, the AI can provide answers that sound correct but are actually incorrect. This is called hallucinating. The quality of what's created depends on both the quality of the data used and the quality of the prompts given. To effectively utilize generative AI, we need to learn how to guide the tools with meaningful prompts and use them thoughtfully. Generative AI holds immense potential and can help us in many ways, such as serving as a writing or learning partner. However, the AI should do the hard work and humans should be responsible for the facts. Difficult to follow? Okay, let me explain again with examples. Meet Tina, a graphic designer working on a new project. One day, her colleague mentions a tool that helps create designs, images, and text using AI. Intrigued, Tina wonders how I can create something from scratch. Her curiosity grows, and she decides to dive deeper into this new technology called generative AI. Generative AI refers to a type of artificial intelligence designed to create new content, such as text, images, music, and videos. Unlike traditional AI, which analyzes or categorizes data, generative AI produces original content based on patterns learned from vast data sets. Essentially, it generates new, unique material. These models are often trained on large amounts of data and use sophisticated algorithms to mimic human creativity. Tools like ChatGPT or DALI can create art, write essays, or simulate conversations by generating outputs based on user prompts. Generative AI has a wide range of applications. Like content creation, tools like GPT-4 generate text, blog posts, stories, and essays from simple prompts. Art and Design AI models such as DALI generates unique images and designs based on text descriptions, transforming creativity in art. Music and Audio AI can compose music or replicate voices, offering new possibilities for musicians and audio engineers. Healthcare Generative AI simulates disease progression or creates synthetic medical data, helping doctors gain faster insights for research. Let's take image generation as an example to explain how generative AI works. Data collection and learning. AI models like Dolly are trained on large data sets of images paired with text descriptions. 
These data sets teach the model to recognize different objects, colors, styles, and how to associate text with corresponding images. The more data the AI learns from, the better it can generate accurate and diverse images based on user prompts. Neural Networks and Transformers When Tina inputs a prompt like a cat wearing sunglasses, the transformer model processes the text, recognizing words like cat and sunglasses and links them to images it learned from during training. Transformers help the AI decide how to combine these elements into a coherent image. Tokens and Context The text input, such as a cat wearing sunglasses, is split into smaller parts called tokens. The AI processes each token and understands their relationship. For instance, it knows the sunglasses should be placed on the cat, creating a contextually accurate image. Feedback Mechanism Generative AI models improve through feedback. After generating an image, users provide feedback on the accuracy or quality of the output. If Tina's generated image shows the sunglasses floating beside the cat, she can mark it as incorrect. The model uses this feedback to improve future image generations. Reinforcement Learning Reinforcement learning further enhances the AI's ability. The model is rewarded when it generates accurate images and corrected when it makes mistakes. For example, when Tina describes a sunset and the AI produces a vibrant sunset image, it receives positive reinforcement. Over time, this method refines the model's ability to generate better images. Data Science and AI Models Data scientists curate the training data and define the parameters that help the AI generate accurate images. The more varied the data set, the more versatile the AI becomes in generating diverse types of content. Advanced models use billions of parameters, which are settings that guide the AI in processing data and generating outputs. Generating Original Content Once trained, the model can generate original images. For example, Tina might describe a futuristic cityscape and the AI would produce a unique image based on what it learned. The generated image isn't just a copy of past data, but an entirely new creation showcasing the AI's ability to combine learned patterns and creativity. That's the basics of generative AI. Now it's time for a one-question quiz on what we have learned so far. What does generative AI primarily do? A. Analyze data. B. Generate new content. And C. Store data. Make sure to let us know your answer in the comments section below so that we can continue with this new learning episodes. Please remember to subscribe to us and your like and comments. Feedback are important for us to grow and keep going. A lot of my subscribers has informed me that they are not able to pay due to card details. So, here are my UPI details. You can scan and support us through this. Thank you for joining this new series and hope to see you in next episode. Bye-bye.